As promised from my last year's video, I will tour you on my new university here in Canada. I hope you watch this vlog from start to finish. York University is actually located northwest of Toronto while my apartment is around downtown. This means that my commute to school would be roughly around one hour. That's why I always allot an hour and a half time from home or work to go to school. Although the commute is an hour, it's quite easy to get there as there is a designated York University station which just opened 2017. I am currently taking bachelor's in information technology and most of my general subjects back home had been recognized and credited by university so I am mostly taking IT majors. As you may know, I still work full-time and only go to school part-time as this is my second bachelor's degree. I got my first degree in University of the Philippines where I took Bachelor of Science in Economics. I always make sure to enroll on subjects after work hours so some of my days are quite long. Most of my scheduled classes are between 6 to 9 or 7 to 10 in the evening. It's quite exhausting. I know this will all be worth it someday when I can finally say that I am a double degree holder. I will first take you to Vary Hall which is considered as York University's most iconic space. This hall also serves as a social and meeting place. York University's Schulich School of Business is also ranked number one in Canada as the best business school as per The Economist, Forbes, Corporate Knights, and CNN Expansion. I am currently in School of Information Technology. I honestly only started to learn how to code when I decided to go back to school and take IT. A year after, I could say I'm still struggling and I need to practice more. If you are an international student who wants to study in Canada, do not worry as this university caters international students like us. Most of my classmates are international students as well. If you are done with your bachelor's degree, they also offer one-year post-grad certificates if you are looking to get another one-year work permit after your studies. Some of the popular one-year post-grad certificates are Business Administration and Big Data Analytics. You may find the exact tuition fees for each course on their official website at yourq.ca. If you are looking for apartments or housing around York University, I know they offer housing services also known as university dormitories as we call it back home for full-time students. If you would like to live outside the university, I suggest you look around North York area parts and avoid downtown area since downtown is too far from the campus. 
Do not worry if you live or study far from downtown as there are actually a huge mall close to the university. One is called Yorkdale Mall where you can find all the luxury brands that you need or want. And then there's Vaughn Mills which is an outlet mall. Anyways, going back to our university tour, York U has a mini mall called York U Lanes. It has bookstore, shoppers drug mart, Popeyes, milk tea, and many many more. It even has its own bank. Although this is strategically located inside the university, most of their food prices are quite expensive. So I make sure to bring snacks or eat before going to York. You should also bring water bottle while in this area. They do have a lot of drinking fountain around the campus, but it's nice to bring one just in case. At the end of this vlog tour, Dave and I decided to go to one of York U Starbucks to order our favorite mango dragon fruit lemonade. Thank you so much for watching the vlog. Hanggang sa muli. Paalam!